This video is a follow-on from the last video in the TK Inter playlist. Consequently, I recommend that you watch that video first if you have not already seen it. In this video, we're going to look at how we can create a TK Inter window full screen using the new F-string that is currently available with the recent versions of Python. In the previous video just referred to, we looked at the monitor and asked the question, what is the resolution of the monitor that our software is going to run in? And the answer is we will not know. The user of their computer will have set the resolution using their operating system. However, we can use the program that we're writing to find out what the width and the height of the resolution of the monitor is set to using the following. That's for the width, and this will find the height. For argument's sake, and for this video, let us make the following assumption. Let's assume that the width of the monitor is 1280, and that the height of the monitor is 720 in pixels. That will enable us to walk through the programs I'm going to discuss in this video. Let's consider this computer program that we saw in the previous video. This is a message that will invoke this, and this will find the screen width. This message will then assign to here the width value, and of course we're saying that it'll be 1280. This is a message that will invoke this, and this will find the screen height, which is 720. Consequently, this will assign to here 720. This line will now execute and we can see we're going to invoke the geometry method and if we have a look within the geometry method we have these arguments. Here we have a string formatter, here we need this percentage sign and here we have a tuple in which we have the width value and the height. Now this width value will be placed here at this placeholder and this height value will be placed here at the placeholder and what we will see is the formation of a string and that string will look like this where this 1280 was placed here because of this value this x is simply copied to here this 720 is placed here because of the value here and then we can see we have this lot appearing here so in effect what we have inside here is this string and it's just, it looks a little bit complicated the way in which we have to use a tuple here and use this for deciding what the string will look like with the appropriate placeholders. Now we can reduce the number of lines for this program as shown here. And what you can see that these two have been removed in this program. But here you can see that I've included this message and here you can see i've included this message and the same thing will happen what this will do it'll find the screen width and it'll put it in this placeholder position and this will find the screen height and it'll put it in this placeholder position and what we will have formed is a string and there you can see the string it's the same as the one above and what this string will do when it passed to the geometry method is create a window that's 1280 by 720 and it will be positioned in the x and y coordinates shown here which is the top left corner now all of this was covered in the last video in a little bit more detail now here what i'm going to do i'm going to have a look at another method for formatting a string that will be acceptable to the geometry method in other words i won't be using this i'll be using something different let's now take this computer program that we've already seen in this and the previous video and amend it and the amendment is shown in the program here and the amendment appears on this line and you should see that we're still invoking the geometry method but in the brackets we're passing in different arguments this one here we'll just compare that to this if you look here you can see that we have these braces appearing now this pair of braces is a placeholder and this is a placeholder and if you look here you can see that we have a format method and this format method takes in the width value and the height value which were found on these lines so when we consider what will be passed to the geometry method we can see that this width value whatever it is storing and in the example we've used we've already said 
let's assume it's 1280 that 1280 will appear in this position this the height value we've said let's assume that's 720 and that will appear in this position so effectively this string will look like this so to all intents and purposes this is the string that we're passing to the geometry method consequently the window that we're going to be creating will be 1280 by 720 and it'll be at this position here which is the x position of 0 and the y position of 0 so the window will start its top left corner in the top left corner of the monitor as have all of the programs we've looked at in this video now this computer program is almost identical to the one we've just considered but if you look to this line you can see there is a difference and the difference is if we look at the geometry method you can see inside we have this now this is an example of an f string and this f string is something new to python from version 3.6 onwards and it is somewhat simpler in syntax because you can see we start off with this f then we have the quotes and within the quotes you can see we have here within the braces within the curling brackets width underscore value now that will be 1280 which would have been found on this line and remember we're saying that the example we're using will be a monitor that's set up to be 1280 by 720. If you look here within the curly brackets, we have height underscore value, and that's the height of the monitor, which is 720. So this here will give us the following string. Where this 1280 is given by this, this X appears here because of this, this 720 appears here because of this, and these which define the X and the Y coordinates appear here because of this. And all of this here was responsible for producing this string, and it was achieved by simply putting the letter F here, these two quotes, and position holders with the variables within those position holders, as you can see by this example and this example here. Consequently, this geometry method is in effect taken in this string, and it'll mean that the window created will be 1280 by 720 and it will be in this position the x coordinate of 0 and the y coordinate of 0 so the window will appear maximized on the visual display unit I will conclude the video by looking at the three approaches to sending the appropriate string to the geometry method. This is the first example, and you can see this is the string with the appropriate placeholders. We needed this percentage sign, and this was a tuple which had the width value and the height value within the tuple. The next one we looked at was this one here, and on this occasion we had the string here, and this is a method, and this method you can see was requiring the dot notation, and what we can see that the four Format method will put the width value in this position, the height value in this position, and finally we looked at the F string. And here you can see that the width value is held in this variable within the braces, the height value is held within these braces, and the X is here, not within a placeholder. And here we can see we have the X and Y coordinates. Now, which of these should you know about? I would say all three. That's because you're going to see all three being used in code produced by different programmers. Which one you should use yourself? Well, I would suggest you use this one if you're using from 3.6 version of Python onwards, because I would suggest that this was a simpler syntax than the previous two. But you will need knowledge of the previous two. As I've already said, you're going to see these in other people's programs, and it's important you know what they do. But I think for myself, I will be using this one for my code from now on. Check out the supporting website for these videos. In addition, why not follow me on Twitter as I issue a tweet every time I upload a new video.